An example of a monomial would be the expression 2x cubed or to the third, where x is the base, 2 the coefficient of x, and 3 the exponent. For practical purposes, when the coefficient or exponent is 1, the ones are there, but we don't show them. Thus, if you write x, it means 1x to the first. The coefficient of x is 1, and the exponent is 1. Let's start by multiplying monomials. Every time we multiply the coefficient of monomials, the number up front, the exponents of identical bases must be added. For example, 3x to the fourth power times 4x to the fifth power. Multiply the coefficients 3 and 4 and add the exponents 4 and 5. And the answer is 12x to the ninth. Now, if the bases are not the same, we may multiply the coefficients, but we cannot add the exponents. For example, 3x to the fourth times 4y to the fifth. Multiply 3 and 4. You can add 4 and 5. Notice the x's and y's remain separate. Another example. In here, multiplying the coefficients 5 times 2 times 3 produces an answer of 30. Adding the exponents 2 plus 1 equals 3 gives you the exponents for x, and 1 plus 5 equals 6, the exponents for y. Let's divide monomials now. Because multiplication and division are inverse operations, in division, exponents get subtracted. For example, in here, 24 divided by 3 is 8, and 6 minus 4 equals 2. The answer is 8x squared. Another example. Dividing the coefficients 18 and 9, we get 2. Subtracting the exponents, we get 2 minus 1 equals 1 for x, and 5 minus 2 equals 3 for y. The exponent for z stays the same. Let's do another example the long way to emphasize what is happening. 21 divided by 3 is 7. The exponents of a are 8 in the numerator and 10 in the denominator. Canceling them leaves 2 in the denominator only. For b, the exponents are 6 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. Canceling them leaves 4 in the numerator. For c, like for a, there are more of them in the denominator than in the numerator. Therefore, the balance of c squared is found in the denominator. The final answer is 7b to the fourth over a squared c squared. As you can see, subtracting is faster.